He said, you may not know. So I was told that the subject you want me to talk about today is the afterlife. What happens to a person after he leaves this body, where does he go? I will speak and anybody can ask any question at any time. We won't keep the question until the end. I will speak and throw at any time you need any time. Any you need to ask any question, you can ask me. There is no need to wait for the end. This matter about the afterlife has always been something which has fascinated the human mind in any culture. In any culture, they have been wanting to know what happens. Because we don't want to disappear entirely. We know that we are going to die, but then after that, we want to continue. So there are, uh, there are also traditions which tell us that after death, there is nothing. But circumstances come, we have seen in the various traditions that people after death have contact with people who are living. And so therefore, there is considerable evidence also of a person being born again once more after having died. Nachiketas was told to go to uh, by Yama, to go to Yama by his father. And when he went there, Yama was not there. So he had to wait for three nights, without, three days without waiting. And he asked Yama. So Yama gave him three wounds. The third wound was the question he asked. He says, Jayam Prete Vishikitsa Manushe Tirke Ke Naya Visti Iti Pucha Eke Eta Vidya Manushishita Svaya Shavayam Parana Mesha Parastasya The third wound which I have asked for me. Let me be taught by you of this, about this Vidya. Some people say, of a person who has departed from this world that he exists, some people say he doesn't exist. What is the truth about this? This knowledge I wish to know. So yeah, Yamana tries in many ways telling him, no, you don't have to. No, this is not necessary, you are young. I have to you this, I have to you that. There are so many things are there in the world you can have that why do you want to think about death at this time. But he insists that he will get this knowledge. Then Bhagavan teaches him, Yama, Bhagavan Yama teaches him various things which are not strictly speaking only about the afterlife. He teaches him about Brahma. But when one leaves here, when one leaves, one does not always go to Brahma. We go to places according to our capacity for knowledge and our capacity for compassion. How we treat people, all that is necessary. There are many passages in the Puranas which are essentially didactic. They are there to make people understand the necessity of good on that of good behavior. So they emphasize punishments. These are not to be taken very seriously. The tradition is begins with Yama as the first man who died. As he was the first man who died, he became the king of the next world and he is in the Veda, in the Upanishad, a very kindly figure who uses our karma according to where we are, he uses our karma and uh, <coughs> protects our consciousness as we require. 
Mas eu sou um menino leito, a Augusta me faz em amar, tá? Muito do próximo. Mas aqui, em this lecture, I will confine myself to what I have received as a disciple for the past 35 years. I will talk about what I have heard from my Guru. And I will also refer to the passages from the Veda and So there are two matters in which I will not talk about. One is about after how happens when we do the and the other is about the Sharada. The Sharada is the only Why is it important? What is it? How much time do I have now? So if you could tell me uh, for 10 minutes, I will talk about it. I will hold it like this. Okay. You don't mind. 15 minutes followed by questions. Okay. You don't mind? 15 minutes followed by questions answers. Uh, or a dialogue. 30 minutes. About 30 minutes. So for 10 minutes, I will talk about I will keep it like this. It's easier. Sir. So for 10 minutes, I will talk about the parts. And Five minutes of Oshnardam, and then we will take the questions. The basic thing is that what is our frame of mind when we live? Our frame of mind when we live determines the frame of mind when we pass away. Many people think that a person in coma is a happy person. They don't know anything, so therefore they are happy. But uh, I remember Sadhguru saying, one person was saying, what is there? I'm not worried about my mother, she's unconscious, she's not feeling anything in the body. So Sadhguru said that she's not conscious means that she's not conscious of you, she's not communicating with you. But the impulse the, of the pain that does go to the mind. And the mind cannot communicate with you because the body is not allowing the communication. But it is like walking on thorns for her now. Like thorns, because <coughs> there is no means of communication and the uh, impulse of the of difficulty, all that is coming back again and again. So don't think that being a coma is a good thing. Second thing is about passing, if we were to die in our sleep, say die peacefully. But when uh, the person dies in his sleep, he is a mind that he went to sleep. That is something important. Because if the mind is disturbed when you go to sleep, and then you pass away. Then what happens is that when we go out of the body, we are shocked when we go to the body. If the mind is calm, then we are prepared for anything. One has meditated before going to sleep and then what happens is that we skip the see there are four stages, Jagat, Swapta, Sushupti, Turiya. So suppose we go to sleep after meditation, after the camp, the Guru Mantra, we go straight to the Sushupti state. We skip the dream state. So there is no chantra in the mind. The mind has now no chantra in it. The mind is calm. So we go straight to Sushruti. When we go straight to Sushruti, we sleep for very calm. And whatever it may happen, we are prepared for. So we are not sleep. Based on how you have lived your life. So if during your life you are a calm person, for a person who is looking to God as the God is the main thing in your life. See, Bhagavad says, Makpara, Gita, the word Makpara, Makpara, you know. That means the final thing, the most important thing. When we see all the important things that are life, and God is the most important thing, then we can say, Mat, we are Makpara. That is, God is the highest thing. Bhagavan is the highest thing for us. 
So, if you are a such a person, then there are no bullets. There are no there are nothing pulling us this way or that way when we die. So, it is possible for us to attain peace to an extent after we die. So, what happens is that we are used to a certain environment, we are used to a certain body. Now, a few days before that exam, there is this shape of the body. Each cell has got life in it. And each cell is governed by a prana. The group of cells together is governed by a prana. So, the prana decides how it is to move. So from my mind, the action goes, the prana flows through my fingers and I move my fingers like that. Because it is shy. Now, <coughs> yeah, the, these little things, we are all like little things, holding each part of the body. So when we, the jiva, the emperor sitting there, controlling all these little things and running the whole empire of the body. Now, when a person is about to die, slowly all these know that the king is going to die, he's not going to be there. So they start leaving the body. Those uh, jivas then, they start leaving the body. So that is why we find certain parts of the body stop happening before we die. And also, the karma in the body is less, it's growing less every moment. Then the body is not a comfortable place. It's like as though we are staying in a place and it's time to go. Some people who are a little more aware they feel that. Because the karma of this body is over. So we are like this. It's time for us to go and we are waiting for the train to come. And what we do know is that another body has been formed. So when another body has been formed, we have to go into that body. When that we go into that body, it's like the caterpillar. It's just like a caterpillar leaves this. Goes, holds that leaf and then only leaves this leaf. So we are getting into that body and then only we leave this body. So we feel that we are going to die, it's not going to be like that. But it is uh, like when we don't know there is a step, when we step, we get shaken when we step down and when there is a step, then we don't expect a step. So it is like that, because we are not prepared for the death, which is coming. And we move into a new body, we get through the shake, so that changes us up. Sometimes the prana start leaving the body before the time is up. Then we find that the body gets paralyzed, the body doesn't function, and slowly the person's pranas are leaving and he dies. Now even after the person has died, a certain amount of that the relationship between the jiva and Prana <coughs> controls that function has gone. But the remaining cells have got life. And when those cells have still got life, it is going to do Jiva, its Jiva has got some connection with the main body, with the Atma Jiva. Those little Jivas are connected with the main Jiva, which is inside. So, the uh, form was done and a prominent mantra is said to release the brahmanas. <coughs> then the jivatma is free. According to his yatajana, yatajita, according to what his knowledge is, according to what he has learned, that's what the brahmanas said. So, when he can. So, Yana, Yana, 
Murakshi Shishi saw him, he was walking in a very pleasant place with rivers flowing and pleasant trees and a happy, he smiling and happy. And there was another person He was a good person with faith, but as a boy he was led astray by the parents. And he was a, he had become a drug addict, he had to drink. And he used to demand money from his father. <coughs> and his father, to he used to refuse the money, then he used to kill the child. You know, then they give him money. When he started doing such a job, he did real estate work, he did such smart things. Like that, he did all such things to survive. He had a belief in God. He had a feeling he's a bad man and he must become good. He could not progress. Then he was killed. He had a dispute with some people about money and they beat him to death. Then the Sadhguru had asked about him also. Because he was a person who lived close by. When he always used to, when he went past him, he was like that and go. The Sadhguru saw him. He was in this coaching, this very heat, dry, thirsty, and he was running and running and running. <coughs> the ground was so hot that he couldn't put his feet down, and he was running. Yadana, 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 Yadana. Person was in Yadana, made him behave well. He learned that he shouldn't be trusting. This person did not learn anything in life. He lived a evil life. Though it was not entirely his fault. So there was nothing for him. There was only his desert. Only his being caused by his actions. Then we won't be pulled back after we leave. Otherwise, that attachment will pull us back. When we do that, that takes us towards God.
स्वामी जी उस अनुभव के बारे में कह रहे थे कि जब हम इस धरती में इस जीवन में हमारी वृद्धि होती है तो क्या होता है तो जब कई लोग ये सोचते हैं कि अगर कोई कोमा में हो हॉस्पिटल में कोमा में हो तो वो लोग एक्चुअली खुशी हैं ऐसे कई लोग सोचते हैं क्योंकि उनको कोई महसूस कुछ महसूस नहीं होता उनके सोच विचार नहीं होते हैं ऐसे तरह तो ऐसे जब किसी ने श्री सतगुरु स्वामी जी से बात किया सतगुरु कह रही थी कि वैसे नहीं है ऐसे नहीं है कि वो लोग कुछ महसूस नहीं कर सकते उनका मन काम कर रहा है मगर वो जो हमसे कम्युनिकेट हमसे जो बात करना चाहते हैं वो नहीं कर सकते क्योंकि उनको उनके शरीर पर काबू नहीं है उस स्थिति में वो लोग तो ऐसे हैं जैसे वो कंटे पर चल रहे हैं वैसे महसूस होता है क्योंकि वो कुछ कहना चाहते हैं कुछ कम्युनिकेट करना चाहते हैं वो हमसे नहीं होता है एक और बात स्वामी जी ने कहा कि जब जब आत्मा शरीर से निकलती है तो हमारे जो सेल्स होते हैं अपने शरीर में जो सेल्स होते हैं उनका एक एक छोटा छोटा उनका भी कुछ कॉन्शियसनेस है उनका भी एक छोटा सा जीवात्मा जैसे है वो सब जीवात्मा मिलके वो जो मोर सीनियर जीवात्मा है जो शरीर को कंट्रोल करती है उसके नीचे आ जाते हैं मतलब कंट्रोल जैसे जब हमारे शरीर से हमारा जीवन निकलता है वो जीव निकलती है तो पहले वो एक प्रकार के बीन्स मिलती है वो जीव वो बीन्स साउंड वन आउट ऑफ सिक्स वन बाई सिक्स ठीक है इसलिए वो भी अपना वन बाई सिक्सटीन सोलह में एक उस कर्मा को वो टैक्स जैसे ले लेते हैं और उसके बाद वो जीव पहले दस दिन के लिए फिर तेरह दिन के लिए फिर एक साल के लिए जगह जगह करता रहता है दस दिन के बाद रुद्र लोका जाता है तेरह दिन के बाद चंद्र लोका जाता है और एक साल के बाद उसके कर्मा के को मतलब पूरा करने के लिए उसको जिस जगह पे जाना है जहाँ पे अनुभव आना है उस जगह चले जाता है वो आत्मा फिर श्री स्वामी जी दो उदाहरण दे रहे थे सदगुरु जो कही थी एक एक आदमी का जो स्वभाव में अच्छे थे वो सब पे ट्रस्ट करते थे किसी पे शक नहीं करते थे तो उस कारण बहुत लोग तो उनके वो ट्रस्ट को एडवांटेज लेते हुए उनके साथ ठीक से आ, मतलब ठीक से नहीं थे उनके साथ तो उस आदमी जब उनकी मृत्यु हुई तो एक एकदम झट से उनकी मृत्यु हो गई थी पर उनकी आत्मा को सच श्री सदगुरु ने देखा क्योंकि वो स्वाभाविक अच्छे आदमी थे उनकी आत्मा को जब सदगुरु देखा तो वो वो जीव एक सुनसान हरा भरा जगह में था और वो जीव खुश था एक और आदमी था वो छोटे उम्र का था मतलब बच्चा नहीं तो नॉट नॉट वेरी गुड वो खुद गलत रास्ते में चल रहा था ड्रग्स लेता था एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा छोटा मोटा बिजनेस करता था वो स्वभाव में बुरा आदमी नहीं था बुरा नहीं था मगर वो गलत रास्ते में चल रहा था और अपने जो अयाशी वगैरह के लिए उसको जो पैसा चाहिए था वो अपने पेरेंट्स को धमका के उनसे पैसा लेता था मगर वो जहाँ पे सब उस टाइम पर रह रही थी उसी के पास था वो और जब भी आता जाता था तो बुरा बना था तो स्वभाव से बुरा नहीं था मगर ऐसे जीवन रह रहा था तो जब उसका मृत्यु हुआ तो सदगुरु ने देखा कि उसका आत्मा एकदम गर्म सा जगह में है एकदम धूप सा जगह में है और वो वो रेत जो है वो एकदम गर्म है और ये भागा जा रहा है भागा जा रहा है ये खुशी नहीं है तो स्वामी जी यही सब कह रहे थे जैसे मैंने कहा ये बहुत गहरा टॉपिक है उसको कैप्सूल किए उसको जितना मैं कर सका किया मैं अभी और पाँच मिनट स्वामी जी बात करेंगे उसके बाद मैं उसको फिर बोलूँगा हिंदी में तो फिर आपको कोई सवाल होंगे तो होगा
will be responsible for the Chikita. The Chikita is me. Do you know anything about the Chikita? I am not studying study Hinduism, so I don't know what Nazi is like me. It is so said that yes. it's a path to take like me. It mm. brings to the best possible decisions. Mm. Uh, if it is called the Nazi is like me, it ought to know some which way. It is not to describe in any of the books. Uh, I believe in I some of the Brahmana books it is described. It is okay, it is not a road, it is not a road, it is not a road, it is not a road. उपनिषद में नहीं है, but ब्राह्मण उपनिषद में there is some references to नशे के साथ में, but I'm not very sure about that. There is something which is supernatural and not.
Yes, maybe in the morning the doctor will come and clear your throat and you will be able to breathe. For the it is, think of Sri Krishna, think of the sleep. Like that I spoke with her from 10 o'clock until 1 in the night. Then she fell asleep. Thinking about Sri Krishna, she fell asleep. Fell asleep. Within 15 minutes she passed away. So what happened that mind had to be relaxed. To go comfortably, the mind had to be relaxed, holding on. Because she cannot breathe, she's holding on to her breath somehow. But the breath is going and she's holding on to it, so she's not able to. So when she was relaxed, somebody who she could trust is talking with her. Then she relaxed and she got words of reassurance with Krishna and there with her. Then she gave to me. So throughout our life, if we had the feeling Krishna and there with us, he would help us. Then we don't need an external agency to tell us. When we are having difficulty, we know Krishna and then we will be able to do it. Also, attachment, because of attachment, and then before we go, we had difficulties. After we go, we had difficulties. And after we go, there was one lady, she died when she was only 38. And she was very concerned about her son, she wanted to tell him something. So she woke him up in the night. He got to saw his mother. She said, My son, my son, I by the time he screamed and he jumped back. Because for me, this is a dead mother's so boot. For her, she's not used to the idea of being dead. She thinks he knows this is mother. So she she bent forward to say something. He moved back. So she said, Oh, we don't want, we don't want. Then I go, she said. Actually, to this day, he is now an old man feeling bad that he did fear of Bhakti Kapitan. But that fear broke them away. And because of the attachment, she thought that the same situation was there, that this is her son and you recognize. For him it has changed, the world has changed. Similarly, this uh, I thought Queen Elizabeth I of Britain, who died in, uh, I think, 16, uh, not, not around that time. Uh, and Dr. Uh, Peter has said that because of her attachment to her country and because of the she had left the country and she wanted to flourish, her body, her uh, Atma was around that country until 19 North now. Uh, when she uh, was preparing to, at that time, she he said she is preparing to be born again. Yes. So, Sadhu has said... She born in Japan then. Eh? She was born in Japan. Uh -huh. In that way, further information, she declared that she is in Japan and she is brief to the garden itself. Mm. She was about seven years or so. Yes. <laughs> कि जीवन में ज्यादा अटैचमेंट ये दुनिया दारे से होती है इसमें काम क्रोध लोभ मद और नफरत होते हैं तो डेज के टाइम पर इतनी ज्यादा उनको केन होता है आत्मा निकलने में और निकलने में जितना अटैचमेंट ज्यादा होता है इतना और निकलने में इंद्रिय को तकलीफ ज्यादा होती है इन ये सिस्टम But this is there, the person will lie like that. But this is where the person will lie like that. Only last few minutes. Only last few minutes. Only last few minutes. Only last few minutes. Sorry. My name is Yaz. 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 तो भी रिपेयर हो गया है कम से कम बीस मिनट में देगा तो वो बीस मिनट में अगर अगर मैं ठीक से समझा तो उनका सवाल है कि 
you have, the more attachment you have to different aspects in this life, will it make exiting from this body that much more difficult? The exit to the body is due to medical reasons, some illness, something like that. But the process will become very difficult. The process will become very difficult because you are identifying with the body, you are fighting the departure. You are you want to be with these people, so you are fighting the departure. So it is like as if you are being pulled out. But otherwise you are just sleeping. It's easy. When it is easy then there is no unhappiness. So the jiva goes out and looks detached from the body. But if there is a fighting, I will not go, I will not go then. Similarly, the atmosphere around us. Also, sometimes the atmosphere around us, when everybody is crying and shouting, then there is fear, something bad is happening, something terrible is happening, I should, I should not sleep, I should be here, I should end that. You see, Ajamla, he saw that prideful being, so he tried to protect his son. So like that, you won't come back here and do something. You still think you are the goer. And you are the goer. So, but you, you are not able to think correctly. So what you have to do is you have to, and they have to have a peaceful atmosphere. And uh, say the name of God that will bring His presence there. It will cite suitable things from the Shastra, like that, then things get peaceful. Then it will be Can anyone decide that I will live for 90 years? Is it right or wrong? See, many people, they say, I will keep the body fit, I will live as long as I can. That is, that is just rajasic, that is not uh, tamasic, rajasic, I will do, I will be in control. But then, if they are going to die 89, they will feel upset. I want oh. this, I did not Then you accept it, hmm? at 90 years. See, that is very difficult for you to die at that moment you choose. Means either very great blessing from the ancestors, that you are able to decide when you are going and when they will come and take you. That is very great blessing from that. That is very rare. The other is with the mantra to be in the body. That the tantra people do. That Swami Vivekananda also do. Then, so I also learned that mantra as a boy that I did not even practice it. Because you make one mistake in that mantra. You will have a stroke and you will die that You will have a stroke and you will die. See what happens when that mantra is said, the artery in the brain bursts. Immediately there is a complete immediately you die. That's why Swami Vivekananda is in blood state for his nose. Yes. So if you do it correctly, so if we do it correctly, if we correctly say that mantra, we can die. But if we say one, it is a very complex mantra, large mantra, one akshara we say wrong, then we need the stroke. So which is a terrible thing. So I said, I don't want to learn. I will go to God is taking me. I don't want any Icha Bhutti. That is not Icha Bhutti. To die when you want to. So you switch off the switch off the balance and so decide the time of your death. Then you have to have control of your life and your karma to that extent. So then you will be a very, very powerful person. See, the thing is, why did Bhishma get it? Because Shantanu gave it to him. Shantanu who was seeing his Mahabhishma in previous birth, he had taught so many people that he had created such a fund of good karma that he was seeing in Brahma, with Brahma, not with Indra, he was seeing Brahma there. Then he was born again. But even then he could touch people and make them young again. So he had that much sakti. So he was able to transfer that ability to pull the pranas out of the body and bring. And so much of 
vows and do gives a deva also. So what Bhishma had no days of history has had. No days of history has had. What Bhishma has done? Mm. What Bhishma has done, I think, was a deva. He has lived a life of unremitting sensation. He has taken continuous humiliation and he has only thought about the family. He was supposed to look after his younger brothers and their children. He did that. The road. Every time, being the younger, I mean, the person who was superseded for the throne, he would not have been treated well. He was not treated well. But if you say respected, but silent, he kept upstairs, they say, he been moved up to a higher level so that he will not do it. So he was not treated well. But he gets to his commission to all his children. When he got the option to do it, he has been here to eat the Any other question? How many moments we do? So the Shraddha. So we do the Shraddha ceremony every day. Yeah. So in that certain things are offered. Those things have got the ability to transfer Shakti quickly. So that's why they are used. Rice, thin seed, water. Most important thing is water. Water is the most important thing. So, what Vishma says is, if nothing else is possible, take the water, raise your heart there and offer it. Say that, this is all I can do for you, but I am reaching out to you in prayer. So, Sadhguru used to say also, the brother was a military man, he said, sometimes I am out of the camp and far away, in the desert, what Shraddha can I do for my mother? So she said, you fast that day. And wherever you go, you will find some poor people. You feed them. Whatever you can, you feed them. And you pray for your mother that day. Spend at least some period of time talking with them, asking them, why you happy there? I want you to be happy. So that goes out as food and drink for them. That is the shakti which is sustained. All the Shakti transfers happen through concentrated thought, not through anything. It happens through concentrated thought. So puja, the effect happens through concentrated thought. So there is a vigraha which is put in the temple. It's just a block of stone. It is carved in a particular way which can receive and radiate power. This form has been created by Sanarishi and endured, and endured with his mental power. Into that they do the pratishta, prana pratishta, they bring the life into that. <coughs> and they do the puja to that. More and more devotees come and pray. They see God in that. They bring down the force of God through the deity. And their faith brings the blessings through the deity. So that it's filled with power. And when you pray that, you are adding to the strength of the idol. The idol is giving you your blessing. So there is a flow of Shakti, shakti through that person. And when that, that idol does not get anything out of it, but it becomes a source. Just like how when water is coming, you just cut with your finger in the sand, water starts flowing through that. So similarly, through that water, uh, the Shakti starts flowing. And the concentrated prayer goes up goes through the vigra to the God. And then God's grace comes through the vigra. Because you are thinking of that those terms. So it comes to you right now. Similarly, in Shraddha, these things transmit the Shakti of concentrated thought better. So we offer those things. Otherwise, we offer it, they say, uh, we make offering of rice, uh, this green plant and money to some person. So rice is something which is primary to everybody. The green plant has its own associations. And when you give money or giving relief to somebody, some poor person, 
we give that we talk and pray that is a spirit so that is the ideal way Shraddha is Shraddha, the faith that that person exists that he will receive it second is the faith that my wish is that you should be happy the faith that if I pray you will be so these two things whatever is done with Shraddha becomes Shraddha Shraddha Kutte is no Shraddha Kutte is no so these things are also very specific days Mahalaya Mahasya like that before Navaratri starts those are sacred days on which anything done for the Pitru will become perfect so that's why we should do it प्रणाम श्री सतगुरु स्वामी जी वो श्राद्ध के बारे में बात कर रहे थे कह रहे थे कि सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट सबसे मुख्य ये है कि हमारे सोच विचार में क्या है जो जीव चली गई है कई दिन हो गए कई साल हो गए उस उस तिथि में जब हमें श्राद्ध करनी है तो वो वस्तुएं हैं जैसे चावल है फिर तिल है और पानी ये तीनों वस्तु एक माध्यम जैसे हैं हमारी जो सोच विचार होती है हम जो श्लोक बोलते हैं वो हमें बिल्कुल श्रद्धा से करनी चाहिए और ये जैसे करंट आती है वायर में वैसे ये ये वायर के काम करती है इनसे हमारी सोच विचार जाते हैं तो स्वामी जी कह रहे थे कि हमें मतलब जितना श्रद्धा से जितना अंदर से सिंसियरिटी से हमें ये प्रार्थना करना है भगवान से कि उस आत्मा को शांति दे वो आत्मा खुशी रहे और जैसे हम वो आत्मा से हमारे रिश्ता है चाहे माँ हो कोई भी हो उनसे जैसे हमें बात करना है कि आप खुशी हैं हमें इच्छा है कि आपको खुशी रहना चाहिए आप प्लीज़ खुशी रहें ऐसे करना है और ये भी कह रहे थे कि वो तीन जो है ना वो चावल तिल और पानी इन तीनों में सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट पानी है और हम, अगर हमारी स्थिति उस समय हो कि मतलब हमारे पास पंडित जी नहीं है हमारे पास चावल वो सब नहीं है तो कम से कम उस पूरा दिन हमें उस आत्मा के बारे में याद करना चाहिए उस आत्मा को हमारे शुभ कामना आप सुखी रहना है ये मेरा इच्छा है वैसे कहना चाहिए भगवान से प्रार्थना करना चाहिए कि वो आत्मा सुखी रहे और हम जहाँ भी जाएंगे कोई गरीब तो होंगे नहीं उनको खाना है अन्ना ये क्या है अभी कोई सवाल हो तो एक और सवाल के लिए मैक्सिमम बात है वो वो आशीर्वाद देते हैं वो बढ़िया मीडिया is directly they will communicate. Sometimes they will communicate through some person who is close to them. Somebody who will listen to them. Through whom you will listen to. Is it possible it is scientific or it is true? Which, it? Yes, it is true. They will contact. It is true. If they think about them constantly, and hoping that they will contact, they will come to their dream, they will talk to some child or to some person whom they trust. Those persons will just casually say something, but it will be relevant to us. And Ashurva said that they are a blessing from them, that thought itself will come. It is true. It is scientific. Yes. The other thing also is that if they are unhappy when they have gone from here, then that force will also affect us. Both are blessing is there, the other thing is true.